Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. It is a nice sunny day in Southern California. Um, it's a little cool, but it's uh, it's nice enough to put the top down. That's uh, that's winter for you here in Southern California. I'm gonna go try and find a few snakes. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm at my first spot. Conditions look pretty good. It's a nice day out. The sun's shining, and uh, yeah, let's go turn some boards. Just to get an idea on the day, here's the habitat, grassy fields. It's probably oh, 60 degrees out, not real warm for Southern California, but uh, a great day for uh, January. And it's a couple months before snake season even really starts, but uh, with all the rains we've had, I decided to give it a go. It's awesome how green it is out here. A lot of times I'll find rattlesnakes just nested up underneath these guys here. And uh, that'll be a little later in the season, I think. It's uh, still a little cool for them to be out, I think. But you never know. Keep my eyes open. Come on, where's a ringneck snake? I could easily see one of those being out. They are hard to see once uh, you flip a board. Nope, looks good, though. Now well, there's some mice. Or voles. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone. You got your own problems with the snakes. Well, there goes a skink. I don't know if you can see it. Well, he's off, but uh, see quite a few of those before the snakes come out typically. Uh, uh, give it a few more months, it's gonna be awesome. That's not to say I won't find anything. Look at that, right there. That's how it happens, just like that. It goes from a normal day to an extraordinary day. I'm gonna actually pull him out to get better video of him. Okay, so I brought this guy down. Obviously, he doesn't want to be out here, so he's not too happy about it. But look at that, beautiful California king snake. Typical like uh, from the area I'm from here, with the bands, when you go further south, they become striped. But uh, yeah, nice looking king. He's not very big, he's maybe a foot long. Probably last year's young. Cool little crown marking up by his head, you see that quite a bit. It actually varies from locality it seems like and the head markings can be a pretty good giveaway as to where the snake's from. All right, well he's warmed up enough, I'm gonna go put him back. What a cool snake. I'm going to let him work his way under the board here. Hopefully. That's the way he goes. All right. Cool. I don't know if you can see, just to get an idea, I typically don't wear jeans. I'm a shorts and sandals guy, but uh, the grass is really wet. My shoes are soaked and uh, so are my pant legs. Anyway, good times. Oh, look at that ring neck snake. Right here. Did I get him? Yep, I got him. And he's got me with some musk. Woo. Okay, so here's a snake I was expecting to find. A ringneck snake. They're one of my favorites, actually. If they were a little bigger, they'd be more popular, I think. They're small snakes. And maybe that's the reason. And the fact, I guess, they're common. I love the way they coil the tail. And... Where is he? There he is. This one's gonna shed pretty soon. So he's not real vibrant. They're pretty dull on the top side anyway. You can see the ring around the neck giving it the name. Very common in certain areas. If they were three to four feet long, I think they'd get a little more respect. But uh, really, really awesome snakes. You can see he's eaten recently. You can see the scales separated there in the midsection. So. Uh, not going to mess with him too much. I'm just going to put him back, let him digest his meal, and he's going to go on his way, and I'm going to go on mine, see if I can't find something else. Cool start, though. Two snakes within, oh, 10 minutes or so. All right, I'm going to put him back. And then we can watch him go. There he goes. Put a blow on him. Yeah, look at that meal in the middle of him. Yeah, he's eating really well. I don't know what he ate, but uh, there he goes. 
All right, sun's right in my eyes, but uh, yeah, great start. Two snakes within 10 minutes. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> and this is January. Awesome. You can obviously make out these prickly pear now, but when it gets a little bit drier, these things get a little harder to see. I've uh, backed into a few of these, and uh, yeah, not, not so fun. All right, this board is nestled against these plants that typically seem to have rattlesnakes. Huh? Let's see what happens on this one. Oh, look at that. Gopher snake. All right, three species here in January. Little gopher snake. That's cool. And another small snake, kind of like the king. This is a juvenile. He's maybe a foot and a half long. These guys get pretty big, maybe five, six feet long, but uh, just a little guy here. I may actually not move this guy. All right, I'm going to pick this guy up just so you guys can see how big he is. He's very cool to the touch. He's not even moving. Um, yeah, maybe a foot and a half long, not very big. And the underbelly, you can see as I let him go. Watch this. There's the underbelly, kind of a yellowish color. And there he goes into the crack. Very cool. Three snakes. Let's go find some more. Oh, a little king snake right here. I didn't even see him. Look at that. I didn't even see him at first. I was about to put the board back down. All right. I'm not going to touch this guy at all, actually. I'm just going to leave him where he is. He's going to probably back up right to where he was. I guess this could be a quick lesson when flipping boards. A lot of times I just look underneath the board and just kind of move on, but a lot of guys will lift up all this stuff. And if you do, as you can see here, there he is, California king snake. So, yeah, I guess I got to do a better job in the future. This guy's kind of p more pale in color than the other one. The other one's more yellow. This one's more almost whitish. I wouldn't go as far as saying it's white, but uh, definitely uh, whiter than the other one. And I'm going to put him down. I want him to stay under here. In fact, I'm going to put him back here and cover him back up. There we go. And then I'm going to cover it all the way up. All right, so there you go, two king snakes. So right now I'm up to, uh, let's see, it was a king, a ringneck, a gopher, and now a king again. So uh, four snakes in January. Loving it. Nope. Oh, look at that. Ringneck snake number two. I love these guys. I'm not sure how well that you can see that. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, he's going to probably take off. All right, well, I would have liked to have gotten some better video of him, but uh, yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. All right, guys. Well, uh, <laughs> does it get much better? Not in January, I don't think, uh, in Southern California. Anyway, uh, two ringnecks, two king snakes, a gopher snake, and yeah, I think that was it. Five snakes, though. Five snakes in January. That's awesome. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you.